you know, it's it's so funny when I talk about my OCD and what it is now because it changes so much. I've dealt with everything on the spectrum of contamination issues, color issues, number issues, lots of scrupulosity, um, a lot of hyper-responsibility, reassurance, ordering, perfectionism, kind of you name it, I've had it. Um, harming obsessions, a little bit of hoarding, all those things. But for the most part, I'd say my number one issue right now is contamination and reassurance. I definitely worry a lot about people and if they're okay and if they're safe and tend to ask people around me reassurance questions that tend to drive them a little bit crazy, but I guess after six years they're used to it. <laughs> living with OCD is similar to living with a daily nightmare. I still wake up every day with thoughts and I still go to bed with them. And depending on how good or how bad of a day I'm having is how much or how little I'm gonna combat the thoughts and fight my OCD. I can't tell you that I wake up every morning and do exposures and that I do my therapy like I should because it wouldn't be the truth, it would be a lie but I can tell you that I find a way to live with OCD. I get up, I go to classes, I work hard, I go to my internship, I run my foundation, I do so many things that I never thought I'd be able to do again, but I do it with OCD. To me, fighting OCD is all about fighting for your future and fighting for yourself. It, it's got to be bigger than you. You can't wake up every morning, or I can't at least, wake up every morning and say my goal is to fight my OCD because I know that that wouldn't get me so far. I try to really focus my attention on having big goals and doing self-care. Those to me are the two crucial things when you're fighting OCD to continue to have. For me, my goal was to make it through high school and I did that. Then my goal was to graduate college and I recently did that. And now my goal is to get my master's and I'll be doing that in May. And next my goal is to maybe get into a PhD program or to start doing counseling. And those goals are what keep me going. They're the things that when I wake up in the morning, and I'm having a bad day, if I didn't have those, my only reason to get out of bed would be to fight my OCD. And I think all of us know that that wouldn't be a good enough reason to get you out. But for me it was, I've got to get out of bed because I have to make it to classes because I, have to, I want to graduate, it's that important to me. Or I have to make it to my internship because I made a commitment to them. And to me those are the things that keep me going. Um, the things that keep me relaxed or peaceful are my self-care things. And for me, that's walking my dogs or being on a lake or reading a book or maybe for some people it's listening to music or playing music. And I always talk about this in my support group, but it's something that I think is so important is that to keep living the day to day, it's not like somebody who lives their day to day life and things are great. We have this constant turmoil, these constant thoughts that rip at us and tear us apart and that are so emotionally draining. You have to have an escape. And for me, my escape has always been going on a walk, reading, playing with my dogs, enjoying time with family or friends, things that I can kind of escape my OCD for a little bit. I might still do rituals and of course I'm still gonna have the thoughts, but for a temporary moment I can live in that little bit of the other world that makes me remember, okay, my life isn't consumed solely by my OCD. And I think that's something we have to remember every day.